Hey, can I ask you something? Why is the door locked? Why? It's obvious, because I'm working. You work remotely. You're working, but you don't have to lock the door. Because I work from home, I'll lock the door from the time I go to work to the time I leave. Are you going to stay in your room the entire time? Of course. I'm going to lock myself in. If I leave the door open, the kids will come in and make noise. There isn't much choice, is there? Since the kindergarten and elementary school are closed. The kids may be off, but I have work. I understand that, but you don't have to lock yourself in. I'm the one who's supposed to be working, and the kids are the ones who are screaming. You should teach them not to disturb their father's work. The kids are stressed out from being home all the time. We have four boys, so we have to put up with a little bit of noise. I don't care about that. You don't care? Keep the kids quiet while I'm working. That's your job. My job? You got fired from your part-time job anyway. It's a good timing. I didn't get fired because I have kids, but it's because of this situation. I don't care what the circumstances were. If you were capable, you wouldn't have been fired. That proves you're incompetent. You're a deadbeat, useless to society. So at least be a little useful at home. What? Don't you think that's a bit mean? It's true. Anyway, I'm the one working and earning the money. You're the one who has to do the housework and childcare. Of course, I know that and I'm doing it. But can't you watch the kids at least a bit? I can't. I'm at work. Hey, do something. What? It's the kids. They've been making noise for a while now. That's how they always are. Always? Make them be quiet. I can't. Four boys won't be quiet. They were quiet earlier. Yeah, they were having a snack. Then give them more snacks. They'll be quiet if they eat. You can't make them eat all day. Well, anything then. Just shut them up. It's too loud. I can't work. I'm trying to, but it's no use. They're locked up and shut in. So you'll just have to put up with it. How can you put up with this noise? This is why people with little ability are useless. What do you mean useless? A person with no skill can only do housework and take care of children. But you can't even do that. You're so incompetent, it's appalling. Huh? Hey, what's with you this morning? You're so horrible, calling someone incompetent and useless. I'm just telling you the truth. You're not working. Miss Johnson is a woman, but she's raising a family and working at the same time. Miss Johnson? You mean Mary? Yeah, she's your colleague. Mary has one child, right? I kept working when I had my first. I did my best with the second one too, working shorter hours, but the third time was twins, so I gave up work. So? So? You could have kept your job if you were capable. Working while raising children is a natural thing for a woman to do. You can't do the natural stuff. You have to admit that you're not capable of doing anything. But the project that your department is working on now is a project for a system I proposed before I quit. It just happened to go through by chance. By chance? I could have kept my job too if I had remote work. How could you? You can't even keep your kids quiet. You're a loser who can't even work. Don't talk back to me. If you can't make money, shut up and do the housework. I don't care how incompetent you are. I'll at least have you take care of the kids. Hey, work hours are over. Can't you just finally unlock the door? I'm still working over time. Huh? What are you talking about? Take a bath with the kids. I can't. I'm at work. How long are you going to work? I don't know. Maybe until the kids go to bed. Come and call me when all four of them are asleep. Don't be stupid. I'm not usually around this time of night. Don't tell me you're home late on purpose. Whatever. Hey, you're the father of these kids, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. That's why I work for them. I'm letting you eat with the money I earn. I'm working for you, deadbeat. You should be thanking me. I'm grateful, but... Then don't be so bitchy. You don't earn a penny as a housewife. You bathe them. It suits since you wouldn't be able to earn anything, even if you go and work. I'm at work, you know. Does that mean that if I have an income too, you will take care of the child care and housework too? Well, yeah, but if you were making as much money as I do, instead of just part-time, I'd be doing the housework and child care too. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but incompetent you would never be able to do that. Hey, unlock the door. I can't. I'm working. Huh? What are you talking about? There's no way you have a job. I fixed the program you are in charge of. Huh? I got in touch with Mary yesterday. She said it's a remote job, so she doesn't care who does the work as long as we get the results. What? Well, Mary said that. I'm better suited for this job because it was originally my idea. What do you mean? It means that Miss Johnson has entrusted me with the project that you are in charge of. What? It seems you've been stuck on the program for a long time. How could you miss such a simple thing? Maybe that's why you were working overtime. I was able to fix it in about 10 minutes. Without talking to me? Mary told me that lately you have been having trouble concentrating and getting your work done. And you've been skipping daytime work and working overtime. And since the project was originally designed for women, she wanted me, who proposed the idea, to be in charge of it. So I called her and she was happy to give me the job. What are you talking about? She told me that if the remote work had been introduced earlier, I wouldn't have had to quit my job to raise my children. It's too late for that. And now she's asking me if I want to come back to work because I can continue to work remotely from now on. That's enough. What about the housework and childcare? Why don't you do it, Henry? You said if I made as much money as you do, you'd take care of the housework and childcare, right? What are you talking about? I have a job. So I took over that job for you. Now you don't have any work to do and I make more money than you. Do you get it? Don't be stupid. One who is capable should do the job, right? I'll work in place of you for a week until the current system is set up. There's no way the company would approve such a thing. That's the thing. The president has given me permission too. He said that remote work will reduce the number of women leaving the company. The president? It was approved as a test case. It seems that the company was in trouble because a lot of talented female employees quit the company due to childbirth and childcare. Oh no, I don't agree with this. They said you can take a week's maternity leave, Henry. This is too one-sided. The president has mailed you about it, so why don't you check it out? Well, I've got work to do. Hey, the kids are making a lot of noise. Looks like it. Seems like it. I can hear them screaming. I'm at work, so make them quiet. They won't be quiet. It's your job to keep the kids quiet, right? LOL. You're not working, so at least you can do that, right? My job. You got a message from the president saying he's looking forward to the first male employee to take maternity leave. Ah. Uh. That's you, Henry. Boss is counting on you. Yeah, well... Hey, the kids won't listen to me. I see. What should I do? Well, I wonder what you should do. Figure it out yourself. What do you always do? You don't have to ask me. You're capable and talented. Don't be like that. You don't have to be capable to raise a child or do housework. Then there's no reason why you, the brilliant one, can't do it, right? Can you please hurry up and get them quiet? Hey. At least make me lunch. I can't. I'm working. Don't say that. I've already bought some stuff, so just go for it. I can't cook. Really? You're so talented, but you can't cook? I've never done it before, so it's not my fault. I had never done it when I first got married either, but I cooked. That. If you're so capable, Henry, you can do anything. LOL. I'm sure the boss is counting on you. Sigh. Hey, work hours are over. Come on out and cook dinner. I'm working overtime. You've got to be kidding me. You worked overtime, right? Why are you so angry just because I'm doing the same thing? What are you talking about? You're the mother. Aren't you the father? That's why I'm working and earning money as a father. Is that all there is to being a father? That's the role of a father. You took my job without asking me, and now you're talking to me like a smart ass? You're right. I took your job away from you. Hey, do you know what this means? What? Then, when I start earning money, do you think you'll need to play the role of a father? 
Huh? What do you mean? If I go back to work and I'll be doing the housework and childcare, then I won't need you as the father. What? Well, I'm fine with that. It doesn't make any difference whether or not I have a husband who is overbearing. It's not enough he's just incompetent, but he's also verbally abusive and offensive. No, you know, I wouldn't mind a divorce if things stay the way as they are. But what's with the attitude? Which one of us is the bossy one? I'm serious. Oh no, don't say that. Don't say that now. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. I mean, how can you say that? You have no idea how angry I am. I can't be with someone like that. Wait a minute. Sorry. My bad. I didn't know housework and childcare were so hard. I guess because of hearing the word divorce, Henry reluctantly completed the housework and childcare for a week. I helped a little too. By spending time with the children, they became much more attached to their father. It seems that Henry has become more aware of his role as a father. We now share the housework and childcare together. I have successfully returned to my job working remotely, and now I have a fulfilling life with childcare, housework, and my job. Come on, what's going on? <coughs> Oh, sorry. You don't have to call me so many times. Of course I do. I hope you didn't forget what day it is today. What are you doing? Hurry up and come to the church. Did you oversleep? Oh, yeah, it's the wedding day. Sorry. I can't go. Huh? So, can you cancel it? What the hell? There's no way I can do that with 500 people in attendance. You've got to be kidding me. I hate it when you lose your temper like that. To be honest, I don't like that kind of woman. Just come on, hurry up. Where are you? Right now, it doesn't matter where. It's none of your business anymore. Huh? What do you mean? What's going on? I can't stop thinking about Kimberlyn. Who? Who is she? Unlike you, she's the daughter of a wealthy family. Her skin is soft, white. I get excited just thinking about her. Are you having an affair? And like you, she's really talented. She's so much better than you with all your flaws. I've decided to marry Kimberly. Are you out of your mind? She's saying that she's fine with it. What are you going to do about our wedding? So just cancel it. So that's that then. Oh, wait a minute. What should I do? The wedding. You who long time no see. Huh? Who is it? What are you talking about? You shy girl. It's your prince charming on a white horse. How could you forget your ex-fiance? I remember you son of a bitch. What have you been doing for 5 years? What? I was married to Kimberly. I guess we had a happy married life. Oh yeah. What do you want now? I got divorced because of various reasons. Looks like karma caught up, huh? Don't be so cold. Who was she? Your wife? Oh, Kimberly? She was a junior in college. Junior in college? Her father is a legendary businessman who was very successful in the local city. From middle school, she received special education for her exceptional talents and studied at a school in the city. And during her elementary school years, she was raised abroad, so she is a returnee from abroad. Hmm. She's a world apart from you, isn't she? I'm amazed that a girl like that would be your fling. Don't say that. So what? Why did you break up with her? I mean, how long had you been together? We started dating more than a year before the wedding. She would say, "I'm so naive, so teach me a lot of things." And she begged me to teach her things, and while I was teaching her things, we crossed a line one night. Huh? Where I grew up, they say it's normal to marry the first person you have it with. I was told that it's usual. Then why did you try to marry me instead of breaking up with me right away and to cancel on the day of the wedding of all days? That's the worst of the worst. If you had broken up with me sooner, it might have been better. I got into it more than I expected, and it was hard to say no. Do you have any idea how much trouble you caused me? I mean, 
It seems your parents had a harder time than me. They lost more than $100,000. What? Seriously? But if there were 500 people attending, the congratulatory gifts would have been made up for it. Wasn't the cost of the ceremony calculated to be covered by the congratulatory gifts? There's no way we could receive gifts after the wedding was canceled. Don't be silly. Oh, yeah. Your parents were looking for you frantically. They're furious with you and they're not going to forgive you until you pay for their loss. So how did you end up divorced? Someone told Kimberly. She found out that I broke off the engagement and got married to her and that it's not very popular in the countryside. You're the one who told on her, right? You did this because you were jealous of my relationship with her, didn't you? Of course it wasn't me. I didn't even know where you went after that. I still don't know where you are. If I had known, I would have gone directly to you instead of going through all that trouble. So it wasn't you. It's not my day. Who is it then? The one who messed things up? You had it coming, didn't you? So what do you want from me? I used to work for Kimberly's father's company. He fired me too. I'm in a fix, so let's start over, me and you. You still love me, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Anyway, I was going to go home to my parents, but they weren't there. My parents... Of course they weren't. After that, they sold that house and used their retirement money and had to clean up your mess. Oh, I see. Don't you ever come near me again. And don't you ever say that you love me or anything creepy like that again. What are you mad at me for? You were on TV, weren't you? I heard you got a big promotion. Oh, you mean that show? So I'll become a full-time house husband or something. Let's live together. These days, it's normal for husbands to take care of the home. I'll give up my pride as a man and become a house husband for you. Absolutely not! Let's have our first hot night in a long time. We had a bad breakup, but you might be surprised how much it burns when you see me. Okay, where are you? I'm at the Madison Hotel. I'm busy. How about in three hours? Three hours? I guess I don't have a choice. Hey, what's going on? That's not what we talked about. What's wrong? My parents showed up out of the blue in front of the hotel. Your parents asked me to let them know if I heard from you. That's why I waited and didn't block them. What a dirty trick! I never said anything about me going, and it's your fault for making the mistake of thinking I was going. Let me tell you one last thing. I've already remarried and have children, so this will be the last time that I will talk to you. What? I'll tell you one thing more. Your parents, they got a job for you. It's a company run by a karate teacher named Master Mark. Master Mark? Are you kidding me? Don't you know how hard I was beaten up in elementary school? You don't know? That's great. You should have had your crooked guts kicked out of you. Damn you guys. I won't forget this. See you later. Now I can finally block you. Jacob was picked up by his parents when he came out of the hotel and brought back home. To repay the cancellation fee for the wedding, which was over $100,000, he had to work 16 hours a day at a company run by Master Mark. And not only at the company, but also because Jacob was single, he had to take care of Master Mark and his family and had no free time at all except for sleeping. He seemed to be working like a machine to pay off his debts. Therefore, Jacob was never able to go out with anyone. He has reached middle age as it is. Naturally, I no longer see him. I am now living a fulfilling life both at work and in my private life. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.